Coaches, welcome to another episode of The Whistle. The Whistle, the whistle baby. baby. We back Live in and in color. Let's well, go. This but, is the first episode after the spring game. Yeah. So yeah. We got to talk about spring Absolutely. Game. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I want to I wanna say first, you know, we just want to thank all our fans. We want Colorado to know that on The Whistle, if you check the episode, we said, what if we sold out the spring game before the spring game was sold out? So to all The Whistle fans, you made this happen. Absolutely. Rick George. Because of us and the Whistle fans, we put it out there on the air. Absolutely. Used our influence. Absolutely. And we sold out the hey, spring Hey, listen, game. So, so, you know, they could talk about the prime effect, but it's really the whistle effect. The whistle effect. The whistle effect is what causes all this uh, excitement, you know. So when they ask you what's causing all this, the whistle. That's the whistle, what's baby. causing all this. That's whistle. Oh, hey, Derek Hall. Yes, sir. My guy, Derek Hall. Mr. Derek Hooked Hall. Hooked us up. Hey. Two times. Us. Three two times. Two times. Yes. Watches. Uh-huh. Some nice gold whistles engraved. They will be featured on future episodes. We wanted to make sure we gave them their just due. And uh, we just want to thank Derek for the, sending the nice gifts and the kind words that he gave us. Man, I, I tell you what, Derek, I've been enjoying my whistle. Everybody's been jealous of my whistle. Okay, let's, let's make that clear. Like other coaches have been asking me and Coach Hart how we got a whistle. No, 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 no. You know the coach asked me and Coach Hart about your whistle. I have a whistle that was engraved to me. <laughs> Mr. Derek Hall, you blessed this man with a whistle. Now he wearing his whistle. That's right. And everybody want to know how he get a whistle when I got a whistle, including me. <laughs> okay, mine's from a lot of your hard work with a man y'all call Prime. Okay. <laughs> It's like being on the corporation, and after 50, 60 years of work, they give you a watch. Show you how much time you wasted. With, no, I'm just joking. That's my guy. Say that now. You might be joking, but I'm going to tell you what I'm going to drop in right there. I got a segment of y'all in the cafeteria having a discussion about the whistle. Absolutely. And, how, and, and the ranking of whistles and how that's they right. come about. So yeah. let's go get inserted. He did not earn that whistle. Listen, he did not earn this whistle. Don't, don't get confused, man. You know better. You you from Bainbridge. You know where I'm from. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Don't come up Highway 37. Don't come up Highway 37. This was earned. This is 18 years of hard work. I ain't trying to earn mine. I'm gonna earn mine. I'm gonna come to that right now. Right here. I need hard work. Okay. I told you. Really you know what I'm saying? I need to give me a you, your chain is bigger, though. Yeah, My chain, chain is bigger. bigger. It is bigger. I told you, it's like 50 years on a job at a corporation, and when you retire, they give you a watch at the end of that to show all the time you done put in. This man got coddled. They sent him this whistle. Hey, I'm, man. Uh, uh, listen. Guess what? I'm it shows, up, hey, hey, I'm, it shows I'm carrying the show. It I mean, shows no. I'm carrying the show. I'm take his right off his neck. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. No, 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 Coach Nick Williams is real jealous of my whistle. Like, is it, he's so jealous that he brought some little tiny whistle the next day and wore it. It, it, it was, I was embarrassed for him. I mean, I really was. I was embarrassed for him. I told him, I said, that whistle's so small, you can't even do anything with it. But now you can admit that this ain't the first time a man been jealous of your whistle. Hey, it is what it is, man. That's life. Hey, it's hard living this life if someone has to do it. And I'm winning at it. <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> I, I got confused. I don't know. I'm not sure if whistle is whistle or whistle is whistle. Whistle is whistle. Whistle is whistle? <laughs> whistle is whistle. 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 All right. But you know, uh, as Coach Prime always says about me, neither ain't going to miss no meal. You guys have been getting around to some of the restaurants. Let's talk about the restaurants. Absolutely. Listen, I'm going to tell you right now. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I was, I've been looking for a nice Mexican restaurant, found Rio Grande mm. downtown. Mm. And uh, mm. I, was, uh, I was warned to Uber down mm -hmm. because I'm gonna need a ride back and they were correct yes, because sir. those are the best margaritas I've had. First time I've ever had a jalapeno margarito or margarita, excuse me. And uh, I guess I was pronouncing it margarito when I left. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sure you anyway, were, I'm sure you were. <laughs> I had a few, and uh, the company was great. There was a, some great people there. Uh, obviously, 
very impressed with the jalapeno margarita and uh, the atmosphere down there was wonderful. And uh, I just want to give a little shout out to Rio Grande. Now they let you get that. three, right? I think they cut you off at three is what I heard. They must not have had that rule that night I was there. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. They didn't have that rule that night. <laughs> oh, rolling I mean, down, <laughs> stumbling like I said, in the I Colorado. I, I, I just, uh, I, I was warned to Uber there, so I yeah. Ubered back. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So anyway, that, that was a great atmosphere. The food was great. But the, the, the jalapeno margarita, I highly recommend. Highly recommend. Another one is Avanti. Avanti, great atmosphere at the top level. It's an eatery. Uh, several restaurants you can eat from. You can order and they can bring your food up. Man, I'm talking about that view is spectacular. And you get up there. And we've done a couple of events up there in, in the bar. Yep. And uh, yep. Diego, my man Diego, the general manager, really friendly, man. He's helped us out a lot here at CU. You got to check out Avanti if you haven't yet or if you get in town, man. Some of the best people, best food, and they had great drink specials there too, man. Now, now speaking of checking things out, have y'all checked out the Rocky Mountain Oysters yet? Chris from Alpine Garage Sports brought us some Rocky Mountain Oysters from the Dark Horse. And we did try some off air. Who we tried did? some? I tried some. He tried some. I, tried I told y'all, it wasn't enough. <laughs> I we tried some. hot sauce in the world <laughs> for me to put some balls in my mouth. Well, I don't do that. I the, don't the thing is, they were, they, were, they were sliced up so they didn't look like balls. So I had that out of my mind. Okay? They could be sliced they up, were sliced diced up, up sauteed they, and fried. They listen, balls. Now I know, I know these people in Colorado have no idea what I'm, what I'm talking about here, but our fans in the South would definitely understand. They have the texture of a chicken gizzard with the taste of a chicken liver. Everything don't taste like chicken. I'm, I'm telling you, that's what they, that's what they taste and taste stuff like. Tastes like chicken. I'm telling you. They got, the, they got the, listen, if you're from the South, you know what I'm talking about. You got these little chicken places that, that serve chicken in white boxes. Like you go up, you walk up to the window, you order your two-piece box, it comes in a white box. So the balls taste good? They wasn't bad. They wasn't bad. Wasn't they, bad. they wasn't bad. <laughs> <laughs> the the gizzard taste good. The gizzards, they, the gizzards like taste good, man. Yeah, don't let them set you up and say I mean, come on, man. Good. Let's go. The man took the ball, taste good. <laughs> 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 they just right. Yeah. Like gizzards. Yeah. They gizzards no, no, good. no. I asked the man if the balls taste good. He said they yeah. taste pretty good. But I do want to give a shout out. What to was Chris. the little sauce that was on the side? It was like white. It was almost he like brought a clear some horseradish, color. horseradish sauce with him. Yeah, it was kind and, of a clear and, color. Uh, but it was good. It was almost good. translucent um, type of white yeah. color. But the dark horse is where he got them from. So I highly recommend if you if you want to try try them and go there, then uh, I would recommend going to the Dark Horse. Great atmosphere there. You can sit down, watch some games. You got the NBA and the hockey going on right now. Maybe Listen, a couple of drinks. If you want me to try these oysters that y'all so called, I need the y'all got to let me know. Like I got to really, and I do it on air. Yeah, I do it on the whistle. But I need I need the fans to really let me know. This is what they want me to do. Because, you know, last time I checked, you know, I don't do balls. 